first want to thank Iceland Games and all the team that I'm able to be here. And when I first come to Iceland, uh, I've been told that it can be very cold in the summer. <laughs> and now I'm having like a sunburn on my neck and <laughs> that's why I'm wearing the, the <laughs> skirt. <laughs> and yeah. Um, some years ago, I played a very artful game called Naissance. I think Jonathan could spell, uh, tell me how to properly Nossa. pronounce it. Naissance, Nossa. Nossa. okay. And it had a very deep impact on me because it was the first time I realized that games <coughs> can be so much more than just gameplay and fun. And yeah, it, um, I, after it, I did some research and because I wanted to try to make my own naissance. And I downloaded the Unity, like a free to use software where you can like build environments and create <coughs> something big. And this were my first uh, tries. Like I tried to recreate it, tried to do a second part because the developer said sadly there's most likely not going to be a second part. And yeah, I started to build some other projects with Unity, like a game where you're on the moon and explore some uh, man-made structures or alien structures. And yeah, after this there was following a lot and I built my little community and people got into this niche and I found myself in this non-gameplay. Like I have no idea about code so I had to like push all the gameplay aside and just do a walking simulator. And yeah, and this phase was very hard for me because I dropped out of school actually, because my passion for my whole, for this whole scene grew so big and against the will of all my teachers and all my social surrounding, like most people told me you can't do anything with games, like the future, just do something real and uh, yeah. I decided to continue doing games and it was actually the best decision I've ever made because after that I got a lot of attention from press and I was able to be part of art galleries like little independent art galleries um, around the whole world like some in the USA like the first time I was uh, part of an art gallery it was actually here in Isle of Games and it made me very happy and it built a big confidence in myself that I am onto something and that I can continue what I'm doing. And yeah, I was also at a Maze Festival last year and I was even nominated for the Humble New Talent Award, which was another big leap for me. And yeah, now to my project that I'm exhibiting here. Is it where? Ah, yeah, it's, it's very hidden. It's on the stage. When you go to the left, it's very, yeah, extra to the whole event, so it's a little bit, so you can feel yourself into the space and immerse yourself and yeah, it's a big part of the, big part of the game. Like there are some key elements in it. It's basically a virtual art gallery in a brutalist space, like brutalism is like all concrete made stuff. And um, I like to call it neo-brutalism because um, brutalism itself is more like an historic uh, kind of area, era, and um, that's why I'm like joining the new new brutalism movement. And yeah, my, my idea with it is that I want to do an art gallery, but um, you have in a digital space opportunities you don't have in a like real life space. So I don't want any guidance in it, like no signs that lead you, like just very subtle like lights you can follow. Um, there's no narration, no text, no, no outside input out be besides all the installation art you can discover in it. And so there's no distracting uh, user interface and it's all just the scenery and the music and the sound. And yeah, I also choose to have letterboxing like black bars on the top and on the bottom. And I want that player themselves feel like they are like a director and explore the space with the eye of a director, like frame the whole environment and keep themselves into this installation art. 
Yeah, I also pay very high deta uh, detail on like sound design and it's for me the most important part to immerse the player into the whole scenery so that they kind of forget what's outside is happening and yeah, I hope you all like it and now I'm going to close this and want to release you into the exhibition and I wish you all much fun. Thank you.